We are a Canadian couple traveling 10 days through Ireland. Today we're hiking Gap of Dunlow, but before that we take a look around Kinsale and one of us goes for a dip. We got a late start today. We need an end. <laughs> we slept in until it's like 10 o'clock right now, which is terrible for us. Normally we're up like at 7 and we're going. Uh, all this editing daily is kind of catching up with us, I think. Oh, totally. <laughs> but uh, we find ourselves in the beautiful town of Kinsale on their Market Street, famously painted different colors. Let's go check it out. Lily's yeah. looking at it right now. It's it's, uh, it's very bright. <laughs> I love this. I feel like this is exactly what I pictured Ireland to be. Just like bright, lots of really nicely like displayed windows. This bar to my left, favorite Guinness slogan from back in the day. Guinness is good for you. I agree. We have been terrible travelers today. Let's just be honest, we slept in. We didn't know that there was complimentary breakfast at our hotel, which we missed. So we had to go get our own breakfast. It was good, but we needed to load up because today's mission is to hike the Gap of Dunlow. That's where we're headed now. Right. Gap of Dunlow is about an hour and a bit away from Kinsale. Hour and 40 minutes. An hour, 40 minutes. We. However, we're going to stop at a beach on the way because this coastline is amazing and we haven't really been able to see it yet since we got into Kinsale last no, night. No, tell them the real reason we're going to this random beach. Because Old Head Golf Club is at the end of it. It's a dream course of mine someday in my life, someday. I hope to play it, but today we're just going to be looking at it. There we go. Be honest with the people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I'm about to show you is insanity. Oh my goodness. Is, is, this is insane. It's really cool. <laughs> For a golf course, she says. We were going to fly the drone here, but the wind is seriously gusting like 80 kilometers an hour. Tough day for drones, but I can't imagine playing golf in that. Let's show the people what kind of road we're dealing with here. <laughs> this is the wider part of it. It's a good thing we got that all-inclusive car insurance. <laughs> a new way. All right, well, this crazy person it decided to... The call to adventure, <laughs> adventure called, and I can't resist it. So, we're swimming. full commit. This is the thing about living in a landlocked province. When he has a chance to go swimming, even if it's in the frigid Atlantic, he'll take it. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. Was it cold? It, uh, the water is cold. Mm -hmm. I feel okay. Amazing. That was amazing. There, it's actually kind of warm outside. Is there like, anyone else in the water? One dude. Nice. My man. Look at those waves. You did it! Whew, that was worth it. All right. Okay. Well, after an hour, 40 minute drive, we are here at the Gap of Dunlow. Well, at the trailhead. Apparently everyone who starts the trail starts at Kate Kearney's cottage. I wow. had no idea that Ireland had so much elevation and highlands like that. Mm -hmm. It's stunning. Like I feel like my head was just going like this every time we were driving. Absolutely. I cannot wait to get on the trail. It was sunny as we were driving in. Now it's a little cloudy, but that seems to just be the Irish way. Mm -hmm. the weather changes like this, but there's no rain in the forecast. So I think we should be good. Let's do it. Let's do it. That was lame. <laughs> So yeah, that was an option, um, horses. It said that this was a drivable path. There's also been a lot of horses and horse dung on the road. We're just gonna keep walking along this way, avoiding horses, horses poop, and cars. Oh, and of course, if you guys have been following this series, blackberries whenever possible. Yeah, cannot beat the view though. <laughs> so we're just about to make it off of the car roadway and up the stairs to where we're heading. We're doing the Stricky, Strickin, Strickin um, access point, which is I think the shortest one that you can do. 
It's still gonna take us about an hour and a half there and back. So I think that's the perfect amount of hiking for me. Work up an appetite, hit up a pub after this. I don't think it could get any better. People said there's quite a few sheep. Look, I see one right there. Is that a sheep or is that garbage? That's a sheep. It's not moving. Is it? Oh yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about. I honestly thought for a second, I thought that we were gonna be on a road for a long while, but it was only about 300 meters. This is so gorgeous. And the smell just really adds to the ambiance. <laughs> what does it smell like? <laughs> it smells like shit. <laughs> okay, so down there is where we started. We have walked up the side of the hill, starting down there, switched back twice, find ourselves right here. This is an amazing little hike. So nice, elevation, easy, and it's really, really beautiful. Elevation has increased dramatically. There, This thing is like 440 something meters. And I was like, where is it? And then you crest the first hill and you can't see it in this shot, but we're going up there. Wow. This is awesome. of the trail. Yeah, it looks like it originally went further, but there's a sign that says end of trail, turn around. Um, pretty epic views though from over here. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can see the gap from here. Can we see the gap from here? Can you see the very top of it? We're gonna have to drive, I think, to see it. Mm. But still epic views of Killarney. Some nice weather too. It's kind of sunny, quite windy though. <laughs> yeah, quite windy. But very <laughs> happy that after all the indulging, we've done something physical. Yeah, good job. Good job. All right, so now that we did it the difficult way, we're gonna go do the scenic drive mm. through the gap um, and see it from the bottom. The views were really stunning from where we were. I would love to see the lake and it looks like it's blue skies over there. So maybe we'll get some really cool shots. Let's go. Oh, look at the light. Oh my goodness. Dude, you got it on the right side. So we found the, the gap. gap. Uh, <laughs> we feel silly. We hiked to the Strickeen Mountain route, which wow. is not the gap. This is so unbelievable and bright. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> oh my gap. Dude. Well, I'm really glad that we made it to the actual gap. I am glad though that we did the hike. Me too. I think if you have time, you should do both. Yeah, do the walk, grab some coffee, do the walk in the morning, and then mm. in the afternoon, do the hike. It is also crazy. Like, I'll, I'll give a shot here. Looking at that and knowing that's where that's we were. Where we were. Yeah. And then coming down to the valley, it's like a reward. It's like a reward. Let's go get some grub. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for this one. See you tomorrow.